I, I just wondered, and you've talked about you know, the, the capacity uh, of all of this to fracture whole societies. Um, separate, if you like, from what governments can do about this, I just wondered whether you could reflect on the willingness and acceptance of those digital giants to, that they've got this social responsibility and whether that has changed at all. I mean, we were seeing this week, you know, fines being imposed on companies which, you know, people speculating won't be paid. Is there actually a, a real engagement by those digital companies, um, particularly given changes in ownership in recent times? Thank you for your question. And I think it's critically important to recognise that the role of keeping Australians safe primarily rests with industry, with these platforms, but it's also a collective effort by government and civil society as well. And I think there are two key elements here. The first is, as I mentioned in my address, it is a virtuous cycle for platforms to build into their own systems the ability to keep users safe, to be able to understand those systems and processes. And to that very point, the industry has developed a voluntary code. <coughs> that voluntary code is proposed to be codified so that we understand precisely what those platforms are doing, how they are meeting those expectations and rules that they have signed up to voluntarily. Because I've mentioned throughout my address how important transparency is when it comes to understanding the behaviour of these platforms. It's one of the key factors to address that power imbalance and that information asymmetry. It's a very important feature of e-safety and the Online Safety Act. But nothing exists in relation to looking under the hood of those digital platforms and understanding their systems and processes and requesting that they provide information about precisely what they are doing to meet those obligations. But I think the other important factor is this, and again, I mentioned this in my address. It's so important, so critical, to have appropriate digital literacy built up, not just through children, but over the entire life cycle of the consumer. And that requires a number of steps to be made. Firstly, I think it is critical that the platforms invest in this themselves. It's also critical that governments, through a holistic approach, take action in this area. And to that end, I note that I have convened the Ministerial Council of Online Harms, so there is direct interaction across a variety of portfolios at a Commonwealth level, including education, home affairs and health. That's so that we understand, as a government, as a whole, what we can be doing to encourage that safety right throughout the user experience on the platforms. 